Yesterday we were talking about giving two people the same information, the same plan of action, the same strategy, same execution, and then them getting vastly different results. Some people crushing it, some people not really making much progress at all, ending up frustrated. And what makes a difference between the two? And a lot of you in the comments had a great, great answers, amazing answers. A lot of things about grit, persistence, hard work, things like that. Um, I'm just in the my villa here in Bali. I'm about to move villas actually, but I wanted to show you guys this one because it's really, really cool. Um, it's like open air, has Vietnamese, French Vietnamese decorating, uh, really cool like light fixtures and things like that. And then it's got a pool out there. So I'm moving this week and then I'm moving into another house for a little over a month after that. But what makes the difference between somebody who shows up and they get amazing results and you look a couple years down the line and they're building an empire and somebody who shows up and they get the same result they get every time it seems to happen over and over again no matter what they're doing no matter what they're pursuing uh, and it, it's a very simple answer and it's a long-term outlook now they actually did studies where they look at people who are in a band in high school and they surveyed them and said, do you plan to play the same instrument in college, in the college band, university band? And then they had these two groups. They separated them into people who were going to play in college and then people who were not going to play in college. They were just going to play until the end of high school and then they were going to quit after that. And then they made the people who were going to quit at the end of high school practice for like, I think it was like four hours a week. And then the people who were going to play in college as well play for only two hours a week. So the people who are going to keep playing after high school, they actually practiced half as much as the people who are going to quit after high school. And so one group, they have a long-term outlook, but they practice half as much, right? And the other group, they have a short-term outlook, they're going to quit, uh, but they practice twice as much. Now, who do you think got better results there? I, I already set it up, so it's pretty easy. The people who had a long-term outlook, who are going to keep playing over the long term, got much better results. They became much better musicians than the people who are going to quit even though they practice half as much. So we learned one thing there. We learned it's not necessarily about how much you practice, it's about having a long-term outlook. And the reason is why is that people get into new opportunities. People come in, they wanna start a new business in whatever field, whether it's e-commerce or an agency or an online course or whatever, and they just dip a toe in the water and think, well, I'll try this for a day or a week, and if it works, I'll keep doing it, but if it doesn't, I'll go do something else. I'll try and find something else. And so after a week, they might get frustrated and they quit and they give up. Now, do you think somebody is gonna get extraordinary results with a week of effort? No, I've said this before, life is a competition. So you have to stay in the game long enough to actually get good at what you do and get good at providing value to others. You have to become the top in your field. Now, the cool thing about starting an agency is that you can become the best person at what you do very quickly because you can niche down to a hyper-specific niche and all you have to do is be the best person who does ads for and then your niche, like it could be pet groomers. So you could be the best person in the world at running ads for pet groomers. And that's the cool thing is there's enough niches for all of us. You know, there's massage therapists, there's chiropractors, there's dentists, there's holistic dentists. So you don't have to compete against all the other advertisers in the world. You can have almost no competition almost immediately in this field, but you still have to stay in it to get good enough to get results for your clients. You have to care about your clients more than just, did I get results the first week? So one thing that happens here is caring more about the process than the result. People who only put up with the process because they wanna get the result, in other words, the process is sort of like an obstacle to getting the result, those people are gonna fail very quickly because they just look at everything as a nuisance. Everything's a struggle. Everything is difficult for them. They're just, they complain and they complain and they complain and they're frustrated and they think this is a bad thing, right? But the people who are all about the process, they know that the results are a byproduct of the process. The results are not what you're after. After the process, you just stick with the process. The results take care of themselves. And so those people, they don't look at things as a nuisance. They don't look as difficulties in their business as a struggle. They look at it as learning opportunities. And they stick with it over the long term and they get those massive, massive results. Because let's be honest, to become like a multimillionaire, to make millions of dollars a year, you gotta stick with something at least for five years. That's pretty much common across all industries is the five-year mark is when you really start to blow up if you stuck with something long enough for mastery. But another way to look at this, it's really simple, it's really simple. Let's look at two people who start going to the gym every day. Now somebody's like, okay, if this gets me in shape, I'll keep doing it. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna try something else. And they go for a week, they get really sore, it hurts a lot, um, and they don't see any change in their body and they give up. 
that's be kind of silly, wouldn't it? We would look at that person and say, yeah, of course, you've been in a week. Yeah, people do this in business and with money all the time. They think, oh, well, I, I was in it a week. It hurt. It was painful. Um, they were sore like at the gym because they'd done something for the first time. And then they quit and they're like, oh, that doesn't work because they didn't get results in a week. But same thing with gym. Somebody who changes their lifestyle and they stop, they stop asking after the first week, does my body look the way I want it to look? Instead, they think this is my new lifestyle now. I'm just going to keep going to the gym. And then over the long term, they're going to get those amazing results that they want. And they're actually going to enjoy doing it, right? You go to the gym long enough, then you feel weird when you don't go to the gym. Business, same way. Focus on that process. Keep doing it. The results, the change in your body, in our gym analogy, it's going to take care of itself if you just keep going. That's the money you're going to get paid in your business. If you focus on providing value to other people, um, that's going to take care of itself. It's, a, it's an outcome of a, of a process. So the big difference, long-term outlook versus short-term outlook. Are you in this game just to get a result? Or have you made a new lifestyle out of it? Are you committed over the long term? And this is kind of cliche, but um, in rap music, I don't really listen to rap music, but they say, get rich or die trying. I think maybe that's a 50 cent album. That's kind of how you have to be to have massive, massive success. So same with gym analogy, get fit or die trying. Like, you know that fitness enthusiasts are out there and they're just going to die in that gym floor to get what they want. Um, and they know that's what it takes. And so same with business, like stop being one foot in, one foot out. Stop dipping your toe in the water and think that you're going to be rewarded more than other people in society when you're not doing anything for anyone. It's not about the opportunity. It's about you committing to mastery. It's about you making a lifestyle out of this and having a long-term outlook and continuing to do it and being about the process instead of about the end result and letting the results take care of themselves. That's the biggest difference I see in people. Honestly, people come in one week later, say I'm frustrated. They're doing something for the first time um, and they haven't given themselves any time to get better at it. Of course they're sore. It's the first time going to the gym. Um, but if they stick with it, it becomes really fun. The process becomes really fun and you can become a master at your niche really, really quickly relative to a lot of other things in life, you know? Really, really quickly. You go to university and get a degree and then get a corporate job and you could work your way up that career ladder for 10, 20, 30 years and not really get very far at all. But when we talk about business, starting your own business, this is something where you can get exponential results. And like I said, in five years time, you can be making more than 99% of the world. But you have to stick with it, become a master over five years. You're going to get results in the first year. You're going to get better results in the second year and the third year and the fourth year. And in the fifth year, you're just going to shoot straight up to the moon. Because uh, that's the exponential payoff of being in business for yourself. So just like fitness, make it a lifestyle. Think long term. Get rich or die trying. That means no escape plan. That means you're not dipping a toe in the water. That means you would rather do this and fail than do anything else. That's the attitude that you have to take. Because you're going to make it or you're going to die trying. But you're not afraid to fail because that's what it takes to succeed. I hope this helps. I think a lot of you in the comments write. You said things like grit, hard work, determination perseverance. That stuff's cool, but that sounds so hard. And I think if you just take a long-term outlook, then instead of it being framed as a struggle, this thing where you have to struggle through the process, you just surrender to the process. I think that's maybe an easier way to look at it. Um, and not being in it for that result, not chasing that result, just chase the process. I think it's a lot easier that way. There's less pressure. And you just, you just have to surrender yourself to the path. Because it's those people who are always thinking about switching paths, and the shiny object syndrome. The people who are always one foot out the door, they're never going to get anywhere. So just keep going. Uh, become a master at your niche, at a very specific thing for a very specific person. And you're going to be rewarded with extraordinary rewards. So stay in the game long enough to get good to help other people. The results will take care of themselves. Remember... That group of musicians, the ones that practice half as much, but we're going to keep going. They got better results than the one who practiced twice as much, but we're going to stop. So that's the attitude you have to take. If you guys like seeing the villas in Bali, let me know. We'll do another villa tour at the next place. But like I said, I got to move today, and I will see you on the next one.